Hey, what's going on guys? Alex here from Techrific back again with another video. But today's video will be kind of different because I'll be doing a hands-on one. I'll be unboxing, setting up, and reviewing my Budboff USB Professional Condenser Microphone that I picked up on Amazon a few days ago for about 40 Canadian bucks. I'll leave the link down in the description if ever you're interested in purchasing this microphone. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro and get right into this thing. Alright, so here it is. My Budboff USB Professional Condenser Microphone. And this microphone transmits audio via a USB port. Its voice sounds professional apparently, and it has a volume knob as well as a noise reduction option. So we're gonna check all of these out today. And on the back of the box, if we turn it around, we can see um, a few more details of this product. Under the description, it provides rich, delicate voice. It separates your voice from the background noise with its cord yard cord. It lets you hear truly unforgettable voice. So seems pretty good so far and we're gonna check out if that's really true today. And it is compatible with Mac Windows driver free. So this means that you can just plug in the USB cable into your uh, MacBook, your iMac or your Windows laptop or computer and you don't need to install anything, it's good to go. So without any further ado, let's open this up. I'm pretty excited since this is my first unboxing. Ooh, so here we have it. Once we open it up, we have our microphone user manual. Um, I believe there's different configurations for this microphone. Today, I'll be using configuration one with the tripod, but you also have the option for configuration two with the microphone boom arm. But I decided to just purchase the um, tripod. So uh, we're just gonna set this aside. And here we have the wind muff. If ever you're using the microphone outside or there's just extra background noise, you can just slide this in onto the microphone, set that aside. And here we have it, we have the cable. So we have the USB cable right over here. This is the part that you plug into your computer. And then this is the um, plug that you put into your microphone. Um, I forgot the name of this sort of uh, end to a cable, but I'll display it right here on the screen. So yeah, there it is. That's the name of the, the cable. And it's a um, pretty sturdy cable in my opinion. It's uh, pretty flexible, uh, really high quality, good material. I like it. And it seems pretty durable as well. So here we have the tripod. It's a nice little tripod. Nice quality as well, they all seem pretty durable. And here we have the microphone, my favorite part, my part that I've been waiting for, that you guys have been waiting for. Here it is, the Bud Boff microphone. So let's just throw away this box. We don't need it anymore. And here we have it, microphone, wind muff, tripod, and cable. So let's set these up. The first thing that you want to do is uh, take your tripod and extend these arms, or should I say tripod legs. <laughs> and once they're extended, we're just going to want to make sure that this part is up. So if you guys can see in that camera, if it could focus a little bit. All right, perfect. So like you guys can see, this is like the inner part of the circle and the microphone just sits down around this ring and you just screw it in like this. So you want to make sure that this side is facing up towards you and you can take the microphone and then all you can do is just screw it in. Pretty simple. So we're just going to screw that in. All right, so here we have it. It's all screwed in. And then you can take on this little knob right over here and you can just tighten it. So that way it doesn't move around too much, but you still have uh, that accessibility to move it or orient it in the position that you want. So just 
just gonna tighten this as well. And perfect. We're all set. Now we can uh, take our laptop, but I don't have, give me one sec, let me go get it. One, two, three. Ah, perfect. There you go. My computer and my microphone is here. Nice trick, isn't it? Stay tuned for another video to see how I did that. So basically, we're just gonna take um, my cable right over here, the USB cable, and we're just gonna plug it into my laptop right over here. So uh, you can do the same, just plug it into whatever USB port you have, and there you go, I just plugged it in. And then we're gonna take the other end of this cable, and then we're just gonna plug it in right here in this uh, microphone, at the end of the microphone, this microphone port. So there you go. Nicely snugged in there. And as you can see, the light just turned on. Let's just focus a little bit more on that. You can see that the light right over here turned on. It's green, which is indicating that the microphone is um, on, it's working. All right, and it's that simple. Once it's plugged in, and once you have all the cables connected, the light is green, it's done. Your, your microphone is ready to use. It's really just plug in and play. And in different apps that you're using, maybe you're using this microphone for uh, streaming, for gaming, or for video conferencing, um, on your microphone input, you can choose the USB audio device. That's what default name of this microphone is. And yeah, it should already default it to that, but sometimes laptops don't always recognize the microphone. So it'll still use your default computer microphone, but after um, choosing your microphone input for the USB audio device, in other words, our microphone right here, the Budboff microphone, or any other microphone you have, this applies to all microphones in general, it will work perfectly fine. Now, later on in this video, I'll be showing you how to make this your default microphone. But for now, we're just gonna set it up further. I'll show you a few things over here. So as you can see, let me just uh, focus this real quick. All right, perfect. So as you can see, we have the brand right here, Bud Boff microphone. And then we also have this little volume knob right over here, as well as the indicator for the light and everything. So if we uh, take this volume knob right here, the light is green right now, which indicates that um, the microphone is on, you're unmuted. But if you click this volume knob right here, you just click it once, you're gonna see that the light changes to red, as you can see. Now this indicates that you are muted. So even if, um, for example, you're in a Zoom meeting and you unmute yourself, nobody will hear you because it is red. If you want people to hear you, you need to make sure that it is green, just like so. And you can do so by just clicking this volume knob once. On, I mean off, on, off, on. There you go. Now, the box also indicated that it has a noise reduction feature. So we're gonna uh, turn this on, and to turn the noise reduction feature, all we're gonna do is uh, click and hold the volume knob for about two seconds. And then you're gonna see these uh, lights right over here, or these lines, they're gonna turn to a blue color. So let's just do one, two, and as you can see, the lights are, the lines, my bad, the lines are blue, which indicates that noise reduction is off. Now, if you wanna turn off noise reduction, you all you gotta do is uh, click and hold this volume knob button for two seconds again, and then there you have it. Noise reduction is off. And then you can play around with this volume knob. You can turn it all the way down if you don't want um, too strong of a microphone volume, or you can turn it all the way up if you wanna maybe uh, prank your friends in a Zoom call, try to scare them with that very deep, loud microphone uh, volume. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it about um, a little bit higher than medium row, about there. I think that's a, a great uh, microphone volume and feel free to change it whatever way um, fits you, you, yourself. Now, that's basically it. Feel free to put on the wind muff if ever 
Uh, you're outside, you're recording outside, and there's some wind, there's some noise, there's some cars and traffic and all that. Or if um, there's, let's say, a fan in the back of your room, in your studio, or wherever you're using this microphone, um, maybe noise reduction isn't enough. So you can just put on this wind muff and your, your computer, um, your microphone volume will be crisp, clear, clean, and professional. That's exactly what we want. So that's basically it for the unboxing and setup. And now uh, we're just gonna change this clip up and go over to my computer. I'll teach you how to make your this microphone your default one. And I will also do a few voice tests. So that's it from here. Let's go to the computer screen. All right, so here we are on my computer. The first thing that you want to do to set your microphone as default is come to the bottom right of your taskbar of your screen and go over the volume icon right over here. You're gonna right click it and hit sounds. Once this little window pops up, you're gonna head over to the recording tab and here you're gonna see all your microphones that uh, your computer has on hand. So uh, this is my headset microphone, this is my built-in microphone through my webcam, and then this is the microphone that we talked about uh, just a few moments ago. So currently this microphone is set as my default microphone and you can know this because uh, it has this green check mark right beside the microphone icon. Now for you guys, if your microphone didn't automatically switch to default, you would see this button right over here that says, that says set default. And you're just gonna hit that and then it'll be grayed out just like mine and your microphone will be set as your default microphone. So in whatever app you need a microphone, let's say uh, you're video conferencing, uh, maybe you're on Zoom or in a work meeting on Microsoft Teams or you're just talking with uh, family and friends on uh, Google Hangouts or you're gaming on Twitch, really whatever you're doing, uh, this microphone will be your default microphone that people will be able to hear you through. Now we're just going to do a few sound tests. Hello, hello, test, test. Can you guys hear me? The number of this test will be displayed on the screen, so you can comment down below if you like this one. Hello, test, test. The number of this audio test will be displayed on the screen right now, so let me know in the comment section below if you prefer this one. Hello, test, test. Let me know in the comment section below if you like this uh, microphone sound better. The number will be displayed on the screen so you can comment down below if you prefer this one. Hello, test, test. Do you hear any difference? I think I do. Let me know in the comment section below if you prefer number four. All right, guys, so that's it for me today. Uh, let me know in the comment section below which um, audio you preferred, uh, how you like this video. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make sure to check them, uh, reply or even like them. And uh, make sure to like the video if you like this video, share it with all your friends, family, and really whoever you want to share it to. And subscribe with notifications on to stay in the loop and not miss another video. Anyways, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you and have a nice day.